Let's balance the equation AlCl3 plus Ca3N2, aluminum chloride, and then we have calcium nitride. We'll also look at the type of reaction and the states. Let's look at the type of reaction first. It looks like the aluminum and the calcium, they're changing places. So we have aluminum chloride, but we end up with aluminum nitride. And we have calcium nitride, but we end up with calcium chloride over here. The type of reaction, double displacement. So let's balance the equation. I've already counted the atoms up here. Let's see what we could do. It's probably a good idea to try to get the chlorines to be an even number over here on this side. If I put a two in front of the AlCl3, one times two, that'll give me two aluminums, but three times two, that'll give me six chlorine atoms. Now I could fix the chlorines pretty easily by putting a three in front of the calcium chloride. 2 times 3, that gives us 6, and then 1 times 3, that balances the calcium atoms as well. And then for aluminum, I need two aluminums, put a 2 here, 1 times 2, that'll give me 2, and then the 1 nitrogen times 2, that gives me 2, we're done. This equation is balanced. If you wrote the states, they'd look like this. I'm guessing you'd probably have to heat this up to get this reaction started. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AlCl3 plus CaN2. We also looked at the type of reaction, which is a double displacement reaction. Thanks for watching.